All right, I'm going to offer a look at what goes in to creating a book. This is the first book that is available on Amazon, Pandemic Pondering Spring 2020 While Sheltered in Place. I wanted to call it COVID, but um, Amazon would not let me use the word COVID. Well, 2020 turned into a lot more than just COVID. So let's take a look at where I began with the story. The COVID-19 story as told by Deborah L. McDonald. This is not a fairy tale, not a bedtime story either. In the year of 2020, the planet Earth and its humans encountered endure COVID-19. It just sucked for all. In China, COVID-19 got its start, spreading the spread to the lungs, not the heart. It moved from one country to many others affecting sons, daughters, fathers, and mothers, aunties, uncles, grandfathers, grandmothers, great aunts, great uncles, great grandfathers, and great grandmothers. No one was really safe. It just kept spreading. No one to this, no end to this, the world was dreading. You can't be here. You can't be there. You can't be just about anywhere. Just stay at home and wash your hands. Again and again and oh, yet again. We do not know if this came from bats, cats, human, money-sucking rats. Or is in there. One thing is crystal clear. We want it out of here. We cleaned our closets. We scrubbed our floors. Time-filling activities that once were chores. Birthday parties, weddings, and graduations all put on hold. No magical celebrations. No one really knew all that much. Was it spread through a sneeze or by the touch. No one really knew all that much. Masks were made from this and from that. One was seen being worn by a cat. Schools were closed long before summer. Oh, 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 what a bummer. The internet got used like never before. Artists, musicians, celebrities too kept people entertained while there was so little to do. Some people drank bleach or inhaled disinfectant. Companies posted warnings because common sense got totally neglected. We were told to shelter in place, and if we had to go out, put a mask on our face. In the land of the free and the home of the brave, we isolated ourselves in fear of the grave. Bodies were placed into bags each day, some stored in semi-trucks and driven away. Families could only say goodbye over the phone. Most left this world sadly, alone. As time ticked on, we were told what to expect. Something being called the new normal. Oh, 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 what the heck. The White House, for a while, put on a daily show, bringing on experts we really didn't know. One day, they all went away, even though COVID-19 seemed here to stay. What mattered in April did not in May. Eventually came some kind of plan to lift the restrictions to go out again. People weren't sure what had actually changed and knew that numbers could be rearranged. Guidelines were created and set to decrease restrictions when goals were met. We wondered just how this would play out and had plenty to worry about. It is a very, very sad tale. Humans, both female and male, their homes becoming their jail, all hope riding on an idea sure to fail. Staying away from friend and stranger, we knew the choices of others would put us in danger. Many had to cope with their inner anger. When all this was said and done, COVID-19 was not fun. All right, so that's where I was going with this. I really thought it was just going to be about COVID-19. And then came then came more. So here we go. I'm going to just read what I'm working with. Things got to a point, as things tend to do, when conflicting information left many dazed and confused. The virus got used by politicians so skilled at creating a very divided and misled and angry nation. This is what I'm working with. Questions kept growing, answers so few. We could, who could we trust if only we knew? 
The numbers of infected, the numbers of dead, we watch daily pulling the covers up over our head. Some just stayed in their safe little bed, while visions of someday without the virus would go away as it was being said. It'll just go away. We're turning the corner. Uglier and uglier the world around us grew. Young people screaming disrespect into the faces of those dressed in blue. Violence and destruction affect me and you. But we hadn't seen nothing yet. The times ahead would nev we would never forget. Adults of all ages really were dazed and confused. Why would or did we have fake news? When, oh when, had it all fallen apart? When would it end? When did that start? People were worried, and rightfully so, as there was still too much we did not know. Restrictions were eased. People seemed pleased. No more panic or spread if somebody sneezed. Hospitals were now ready for another viral round, masks, gloved, and gowns. The numbers of infected, sure to be steady, let this virus spread and bring on the dead. In June, the President of the United States resumed his campaign for a second term. Rallies and guest appearances commenced with great speed. The threat of the virus his supporters refused to heed. People gathered, not wearing a mask, social distancing, a thing of the past. People buried their heads deeper into the sand, while the virus spread rapidly throughout the land due to the ego of one self-centered man. The numbers of infected grew. Oh, what could we possibly do? To make matters worse, it was decided to slow down tests, creating ignorance, which was not for the best. Numbers of cases on the rise came as no big surprise. It was becoming clear to nearly all the White House had no problem with lies. We were being told what might make the economy thrive. So what if many more people would die? As the case numbers grew and grew, we were told it was time for children to return to school. How this could safely be done, no one knew. It didn't seem wise. It didn't seem smart. Putting our children in danger tugged at our heart. At nearly the at nearly the very end of July, the president returned with his daily virus show. Most could understand why. His approval ratings at an all-time low off the COVID-19 subject he often would go. His lack of genuine concern for health and truth, very few could deny. With all his money and corporate support, even he knew enough votes he could not buy. No one and nothing seemed safe or secure. Statues got spray-painted or taken away. The names of streets and schools got debated. Everything was under attack. White, brown, yellow, and black. Instability, insanity just grew and it grew. What, oh, what could we do? As July grew near, well, all, we all lived in fear. A big cloud of ugly was forming so fast. Just how could, how long could all of this conflict last? What was ever so tough to digest that COVID-19 would be here all year and into the next? It was a monster and not just a pest. I think we're going backward in time. The I don't know what tapes were not a revelation but a confirmation that we the people were being manipulated by a man whose greatest fear was being hated. He had to be liked by all. It was all about ratings known and this was clearly shown. We saw people from the White House believed to be expert, the very best, the greatest ever, come and go like an unwelcome guest. Books were written, too many to count. What was going on? What was this all about? By early fall, it was next to impossible to focus. There was just so much hocus pocus. We heard that trees could just explode, and someday we would have herd mentality. Global warming would just go away. It will start getting colder. Just watch, because winter was coming. Could this be what he meant? He doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about you. Deep down inside, we know this is true. He makes fun of people just for a laugh. It's all about ratings. Just ask his staff. As if 2020 wasn't bad enough, 
It was also an election year. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, deary, dear. We had so much to lose and so much to fear. The president reelected would get even more people COVID-19 infected. More than this, if that wasn't bad enough, we would lose our democracy and even more stuff. We shook our heads. We rolled our eyes. Truth was somewhere buried in evil lies. People kept from COVID dying while the president kept lying. His following grew and grew. There was chanting and ugly ranting. Those with good souls were in pain. What was happening was insane. Trump used fear and lies to fuel the fire. A vote for anyone other than him would destroy the world we live in. Even the color of his skin a lie. All for show. All, all a sham. How? Oh, how could people follow this man? So we've gone from COVID-19 to what in the holy hell is going on. And somehow, some way, I have to take all of this and try to make it make sense. October, October, to mask or not to mask. The freedom of choice. COVID-19 sounded its voice. The man who called it a hoax claimed it would just go away. Uh, was now infected and quickly and flown to Walter Reed, where for a few days he would stay. I mean, this is what goes into this. This is all that goes into writing this book, and I don't know if I'll ever get to the end of it. I'm not sure, but I wanted to update everybody or anybody who cares to um, see the process, because this is not easy, and I don't even want to deal with it. And um, I don't know where the story's going. Nobody knows where this story's going. And so I, I'm trying my very best, even though I'm really being put to the test. <laughs> really. All right. So I thank you very much. Please share. Please um, um, like or whatever, comment, but share. Uh, I can't go live until I hit a certain number of viewers because that's... That's the newest doggone thing on YouTube. So I really need viewers. So even if you find something that, you know, is rather neutral, please go share it to your homepage and see if you can get a couple more people, a couple more people to view so I can go back to doing my lives again because I kind of miss them. And uh, thank you.